If you have small children in the room, you may want to scoot them out for this last couple of minutes. Because I, I want to tell you a story from my own childhood that um, had a tremendous impact on me and still does to this day. When I was probably in the fourth or fifth grade, might have been third grade, there, was, um, there were three young girls in the Rochester, New York area that were abducted and then molested and their naked bodies were discarded and later found as murdered victims. And it really rattled the community. They actually brought footage in and had the, I don't know, third through sixth graders, they dismissed the kindergarten first and second graders and then they had those of us that were in the age I discussed see footage of their dead bodies. They, the footage was so horrible, they wouldn't even show it on the evening news in those days, but they wanted to jar us as children to not trust strangers, okay? That's not the story. There was one moment when near Scottsdale Road, where one of the girls, I don't understand how, no one knows, but she escaped the car. She got out of the car, naked and was running down the road screaming for help cars were going by the criminal who was never identified chased her grabbed her brought her back into the car and then and ultimately killed her the authorities figured out from talking to witnesses who who saw it that about a hundred cars passed and did not stop. I remember when my mom told me that, I was, I was eight or nine, and I was so filled with rage, I could not forgive those people who did nothing. Who did nothing. And I'm certain that some of those people, maybe a handful of them, are still alive to this day. And in their heart of hearts, they know that if they had stopped, just stopped and said, hey, what's going on here? Maybe, that one little girl would be alive and that perpetrator would have been stopped and brought to justice. But because they didn't stop, because they looked the other way, because they didn't have the courage to do the right thing, that little girl died. If you see something going on, don't look the other way. Do the right thing. And you might just end up saving someone's life, literally. This is the voice of resistance.